Today, we're going over two quick ways to remove hair and backgrounds in Adobe Photoshop. Let's jump into it. First, I'm gonna show you guys how to remove the background from images like this. It's essentially gonna be one click. What you're gonna wanna do is rasterize this image layer first. Come over here, go all the way to the bottom of the properties over here and select remove background. Wait on that to do its thing and there you go. It even gives us the, the quick mask over here as well. So we can click into this and make some additional adjustments if we need to. The second way is gonna be a bit more advanced. Let's come over here to the object selection tool. We're gonna click on that. We're gonna hit this little spinny wheel right here. This will help it detect elements that are in the scene. Wait on that to do its thing. And you can already see that we've got this general selection of the subject right here. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click that. That's a pretty decent selection. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see what we're working with. Not too bad. I'd hate to have to do that with the lasso tool, that's for sure. Let's zoom out. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and apply a quick mask. We're gonna double click into that quick mask. And over here, we're gonna use our refine edge brush. Increase the scale of it. Let's come over here to our view options and hit overlay and we're going to zoom in here and we're going to see if we can capture some of those additional strands of hair I'll lightly just draw some of that back in with the brush some of that get a little bit more of that and you could sit here and refine this thing as much as you'd like i don't want to spend too much time on this because you know it's just a tutorial so i'm not going to try and make it perfect but we're going to get close as possible we got a pretty decent hair selection going on here. Like, look at that. Now we're gonna just okay that. We've got a strand there that's kind of breaking away, but do we need that much detail? I don't know, I'll leave it up to you, but I might just end up erasing that. So um, we're gonna get out of our object selection tool right there. And now what we're gonna do is this next step, let me just try it on a different color background. So I'm gonna bring in a color fill right here. And when you zoom in, you can kind of see the color of the hair is a bit weird. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come back up to our image layer here. We're gonna go to layer, matting, and then select color decontaminate. And right now it's not doing anything, but we're gonna boost this up here. And you can slowly see that hair kind of start to fill in and the white areas of that hair start to kind of, you know, go away. Set that at 100%. Now we can kind of blow this up to see what we're working with. And that looks way better than what we initially started with. So now we can change the background on this and it'll work on pretty much any any color background. And if you want, you can always go in and kind of refine this hair a little bit more. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, subscribe, hit that like button. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Peace.